Welcome back to Ultralight. So, the set looks a little different. But we're going to try something new today. Switch it up. Make it fresh. Today, we're going to review some Web3 crypto NFT TikToks. I did a deep dive into TikTok, found some gems. We're going to go through them. Let's get it started. All right, let's go. First one. For the life of me, I will never understand how older people have not adapted to technology yet. For the life of me, I will never understand how older people haven't adapted to technology yet. <laughs> this isn't live, bro. Reshoot that part. I don't want to hear that they never use it. I don't want to hear that it's not helpful to them because none of those things are true. None of those things are true. And he doesn't want to hear that it's not helpful to them. He doesn't want to hear it. Older working Americans probably use technology more than the average young American, yet they know absolutely nothing about it. Bro. Yes, I'm oversimplifying things a lot, but my dad couldn't open a PDF. What happened? I know I'm oversimplifying it and like not really saying anything, but it's okay. I'm making this video right now because my dad couldn't open a PDF. Like what an idiot. I own this house that I'm standing in. Not my dad. And he can't open a PDF. <laughs> you were adults the entire time this technology came to be. You were adults. Were you not paying attention? Did you just think, hey, these things coming out that are going to revolutionize the world. Fuck if I should learn how to use it. Do you just get to a point where your brain is full? Getting that thought out was so tough for him. He was like, is it just like our brains are full? Oh, I think your brain is full, my boy. Did we not catch all the lead paint? Like, I just don't understand. Oh, I can't write in cursive. I can't write in cursive. You don't know how to print out a document, Suzanne. And what does the cursive thing have to do with this? Why are we talking about cursive? I can't write in cursive. I can't write in cursive. I can write in cursive. Why can't you write in cursive? And that defeats his argument about being alive when the technology existed. Bro, you're not much younger than me, I'm sure. People, you were alive when people were being taught cursive. I was taught cursive in elementary school. Look, Suzanne, I don't know how to write in cursive, but you don't know how to print a document. I can't really make the document. Like, I don't know how to write it out, but I can print it. So you're just going to write the letter? Like, <laughs> come on, Suzanne. What are we talking about? Stupid. Do not share this website with anyone. Because okay. That was the best tutorial I've seen all day. Bro got more paintings than girls that talk to him? Okay, I don't know about you, but I don't know if that's a bad thing. Because at the end of the day, I have a lot of NFTs. I mean, these are literally just the ones I have right now. Plus all the ones that I've sold. And I think that we can both agree that both of us would rather have a very valuable NFT than a girlfriend. So I don't really get your point. I think you're pretty young, bro. So I appreciate your entrepreneurial effort. But come back to me in three or four years after, you know, you lose the thing that you haven't lost and uh and i think you're gonna see the value of uh of having a girlfriend so yeah bro prob has a metaverse girlfriend okay look now hear me out i was oh, actually no. thinking about it there's actually a lot of baddie nfts oh, in the market bro. like hear me out oh my god um, i can't look at this i can't look at it i'm sorry man because she... oh shit she's so bad though at the same hey. time, I could flip them for a decent profit. <laughs> He's like, look, man, I see a couple baddies on here. You know what I'm saying? Make them fall in love with me. You know, it's on a little thick. Once I'm done, your boy can flip them and then pass them on to my bros. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he's jugging these NFTs. That's his name. It ain't Juke. It's Jug. He's jugging NFTs. Oh, nothing weird. Bro, dude. And also, nothing weird. <laughs> Listen, Juke, I'm going to give you some advice. When people comment on your page and say stuff like he prob has a metaverse girlfriend, um, don't respond. You know? And, like, especially not with this response. They have fucking Cucumber Joe! They do. They have Are you Cucumber Joe. Me? They have Cucumber Joe! Oh, man. Only, only four million. Four million. Oh. I you need do need Cucumber, Cucumber Joe for $4 million. $4 million dollars. There's no dollars, doubt. Guys. It's a good price. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I mean, you got him.
Real quick, guys, if you're rocking with the content, please hit that like button down below. You know it helps the boy out. Oh, she's extremely talented. Autumn Lepla? It's not all digital art. It looks like oil painting that you maybe, like, took a picture of, scanned, and then animated with, like, a Basquiat element. This is fire, Autumn. I might be in love with you, too, but I don't know. Russia's going to war? Wait, Bitcoin is made from Russia? There's Russia. Bitcoin crashing was for the funds, for the war. We should work on our sentence structure. Russia. It's yellow. And what was that random typing? Like, did she just take a quick break and say, like, listen, I know this is heavy. Check out my finger movements for gameplay. Project Hierarchy. Web3. Dan Pena. Russia. Now, to her credit, she did provide sources on where she got the information of Bitcoin being from Russia. So, let's check that out. The founder of Bitcoin might have just been exposed. That's right. The identity of the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto oh, no may dude. have just been revealed. Check out this amazing oh, hey, Matt Carroll. thread from Matt Carroll. He's presented compelling evidence that the founder of Bitcoin is no none way, other than dude, the founder Sergey? of Chainlink, Sergey Nazarov. First call, dude. They share the same initials. SM. The one Could thing that like... Anytime I'm trying to figure out if someone's someone first thing i check is initials like if, if their initials are the same honestly like those letter combinations statistically aren't likely how about this you know Six days before satoshi nakamoto officially released the bitcoin white paper sergey registered smartcontract.com suspicious suspicious <laughs> Satoshi launched Bitcoin no using a way. Russian proxy so six, oh, oh. to track the IP address Bro, from that six days same before IP Bitcoin. address where hotel reviews were posted in 2008 under the name Sergey. This is getting interesting. Russian was the second language enabled on the Bitcoin talk forum. Sergey's Russian. December Bro, you're on to something Satoshi here, dude. Releases no doubt. Functions for smart contracts. Then he disappears, and years Suspicious. later, Sergey comes around and starts using smartcontract.com. He's onto something. Sergey even displays affinity for Japanese culture. Satoshi Nakamoto. I was talking trash and uh, sorry about that. Yeah, this this checks out. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend diving any deeper into this. Don't look up anything else. Just it's all you need. All right, so that wraps it up for this episode of Ultralight. My name is Wes Sherwin. Give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok at ultralight.tv and Twitter at ultralight underscore TV. We're dropping new episodes every Monday through Friday. I hope you guys like Monday's episode of reviewing TikToks. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. This is still the beginning of the channel, so we're going to try some new stuff, figure out what works. I wanted to start incorporating some new segments, TikTok reviews. I have a big interview coming this Friday. If you guys dig this, we'll keep doing it every Monday. If you don't dig it, we'll switch it up. I can go back to doing the new shows every day except for Friday. That's going to be the day the interviews roll out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you stuck around the video this long, please subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on and hit that like button. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. Hold it down, be safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.